Hi, I'm Wendy Lowy Sloan, and this is What's Up with Wendy. I began my career in New York City as a TV producer for talk show legends, and for the last decade, I've used those experiences to create my unique style in interviewing hundreds of A-list celebrities, newsmakers, comedians, musicians, reality stars, fitness and nutrition experts, best-selling authors, and so much more. Television star, entrepreneur, and wellness industry leader as the fitness director of Shape Magazine, also former undefeated coach on NBC's The Biggest Loser, best-selling author of Diet Right for Your Personality Type, I am thrilled to finally speak to you, Jen Widerstone. Hey, Wendy. Thank you for that intro. Oh, I'm so happy to have you. How has everything been? How has things been during the pandemic and the lockdown and trying to get back to life as normal as we possibly could in this new, not normal way? Well, how kind of you to ask me. Thank you. You know, it's been a little weird, obviously. Like, I I, I miss hugging. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I miss seeing friends and family. Um, but I'll tell you, you know, I've been proactive. I've definitely used this time. And I think that because as a, you know, as a fit pro, there's almost like an added responsibility of being a resource saying like, you know, what, other people are going to look to me for the way. And that's what I've, I've been working on myself personally, like really putting myself on the line. I, I have to say, I want to talk to you about so much. And of course, about how, you know, some people went um, one way or the other during, during lockdown, they either gained too much weight or they started on this um, new journey of a health kick. But I did read the article mm-hmm. um, that you wrote in Shape Magazine um, that, really, um, that really got to me. And um, I, I love the story about how you changed your entire personality um, you know, your, your whole self. Um, can you share a little bit about that with, with us? I, I feel like, I, I feel like you, you talked about my no filter interview, maybe. Yes. Um, you know, it's, I, 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 what really changed my life and it was only in the past few years. Um, I realized that when I take responsibility for what's happening in my life, that means yes, the good things, but also the wrong turns as well. I realized I had the power to do something about it. And it's really looking at yourself with, with, with a sense of pride and a sense of willingness to make good, small choices um, that, that really add up to big things. And, um, and, and it just gave me my power back. I wasn't, want, I wasn't waiting on somebody else to come on a white horse to like save the day, whether it be a relationship or a job or you know, a family member. I took control of the reins of my life and it changed everything. I, I love that. I, I, I felt I felt a lot of me in there when I was reading that article about you. I, I felt the same way that I, oh. I did that to myself as well. And that was so inspirational. So thank you for that. The Biggest Loser. Oh, oh my thank God. You for saying that. Yeah. Yes, of course. The Biggest Loser. What was that journey like? You, I mean, oh my God. You produced multiple winners on it. Um, found six, they found success mm-hmm. under your guidance. What made you different from the others? I, gosh, I, it was truly a collaborative spirit on Team Jen. It's never a dictatorship. My contestants were teaching me as much as I was teaching them. Mm -hmm. They knew that I truly cared. They knew I was invested in the outcome. And I also think what a lot of people miss is that that there was an opportunity to build trust. And I I really leaned into that. Because you've got to think, these people are coming from a background with not a lot of support in the kitchen or a support around mm-hmm. exercise. And I showed them simple ways to introduce health into their lives that made it less scary, that took the mystery away. I mean, even, even you know, here I'm, I'm with, with Palm Wonderful today. It's 100% pomegranate juice. Just teaching the contestants around, oh, there's actually a lot of potassium in pomegranate juice. And potassium is critical for healthy muscle function. And they're like, oh, I didn't know that. So what's interesting is that I can now teach them the why behind the what they're doing. And that's what gave them the power to keep going, bring it to their home and sustain results. Wow. I love that. Okay. So tell us, tell us the importance of incorporating exercise into the new year. We, and we all know how important that, you know, if we don't have health, we all know it now, we have nothing. Oh, amen. And listen, motion, motion is lotion. I got to tell you, my body feels better. My brain feels better. It is a dangerous neighborhood, Wendy, when I'm not moving my body. <laughs> and you start to realize, like, it, it feels good to feel good. 
And, right. and, and I think that's the thing. And, I, and I, you know, I want people to realize how, how good they can feel. And it's, a, it, it's waiting for them right outside their front door. Go for a walk. Literally just go for a walk. And the other thing, too, is when you're moving your body, you are, you know, after a workout, you're not, you're not reaching for a can of soda. You want mm-hmm. something healthy. You want palm juice, right? You want something that good that goes in. So you have this influence now. When you move, you want to eat better. When you're eating better, you feel like moving. So it right. really is this chicken or the egg vibe that I, can, I cannot encourage it enough. I can just feel the energy in your voice about this, too. You're motivating me as we talk, just hearing you. Oh, thank you. Well, that's what I do best. I'm the middle child, you know, so I like to pump <laughs> people up. <laughs> what, what is your typical day like when, you, when, you're, when you're just, you know, being Jen? Oh, just being Jen. You know, it, it, it's funny. I, I, I gave up TV for the month of December because I really wanted to spend more time <clears throat> with my own personal growth. And I think especially, you know, as you point out with quarantine, it's easy to kind of slip into the the sides of your couch and just melt away. Yes. And, and I, you know, I live on my own. I've been quarantined. It's been tough, but I've spent more time. Like I wake up at the same time every day. I always start with my, you know, my palm purple haze smoothie. Um, I, I, I write my to-do list. I'm a crazy list person. I get outside. I, you know, I, 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 I read a lot more. I'm writing a lot more. I'm programming. I'm creating things. And it's funny, the less I've, I have turned my brain off on TV, I've turned my, 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 my spirit back on in this creative process. And, and, and I'm honored that you hear the energy in my voice because it, 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 it's real, you know, it's real. I, you, can, you can absolutely tell, and I'm not just saying that because I'm interviewing you. If you just turn, I'm talking to entrepreneur, <laughs> wellness industry leader, fitness director of Shape Magazine, and former undefeated coach on NBC's The Biggest Loser, Jen Winderstrom. Winderstrom, sorry for that. Um, okay, so what's in your smoothie? No, Wienerstrom, you got it right. Oh, yay, good, okay. Because sometimes so I mess smoothie, up. Yeah, you worked it. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you with this because I know we got to wrap soon. So this palm, uh, it's, all, it's palm juice, um, unsweetened almond milk. Uh, we've got these pom-poms on the top. There's waxy, there's kale. There, I mean, it's just blended and it's, it's beautiful. And it's, 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 it's just, you know, full of that antioxidant goodness. It sounds really good. Okay, I want to just say one last thing before we have to go. The most memorable experience from The Biggest Loser, and will there be another book? Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm working on my next book right now, um, so stay tuned. And uh, best, best was, I think it was like week three, the contestants played a prank on me. They acted like they lost the challenge. They were fake crying. I started <laughs> crying, and they were like, ha, ah. ha, I remember that. And I was like, I hate you. I love you. Oh my God. <laughs> so that was it. When they pranked me, that was, I knew we had, we had bonded as a family. I knew that. Oh my that God. was my like okay. season 16. Well, yeah. I hate that we're rushed off this, but the, um, <laughs> I want to talk to you about your book that's coming out, whatever it is, and Diet Right for Your Personality Type. I really would love for you to come back and spend time with me and talk about that book. What a fabulous read that was. Email me. I would love to come back on Monday. Thank you. Sounds great. Thanks so much. New York City Fit Mom, lifestyle expert and creator of NYC Fit Fam and daughter of TV journalist Joan London, joining me to help us get the year off to a healthy start. I am thrilled to have back on my show and Happy New Year, Jamie Hess. Happy New Year to you too, my dear. Oh my, so how is your family? How is your beautiful family? How have you been doing since the pandemic? How is everybody? You know, we're so good, and we actually did a kind of like post-pandemic move to Pennsylvania, and we are like green acres, literally. (laughs) We went from New York City to Pennsylvania, but what I've realized is wherever you drop anchor, that's where home is, and my whole family's doing great, and so is my mom. God bless her. She's healthy and happy. Oh, my God. Thank God. So wait, on my way to get take my daughter back to school at Penn State, I'll stop and visit you. There you go. We'll have a socially distanced date on the on the porch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Stand, six feet apart, stay on the porch. We'll wear our masks even. How, so you must love it there. I absolutely adore it, to be perfectly honest. But, you know, it really did uh, open my eyes. I always thought New York City was the only way, and New York City is one wonderful way to live. But we've discovered a whole parallel wonderful life here. So we're just really enjoying the ride and making the best of what this crazy year brought us and continuing to do our thing and be healthy. Was, 
was the move part of the re part of the re was the reason part of the move because of the pandemic? Uh, yes, we did not want to be in New York City with two little kids at this time. And uh, I'm yeah. on TV here in the Philadelphia area. So we just thought it made the most sense to come here. And we are just so lucky. If you would ask me five years ago, I never would have said I, I'd be sitting in the horse country in Pennsylvania. But what do oh. you want? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, that sounds exciting. And, and I wish you all the best. And I, I think that probably easier with the kids there as well. They're in heaven, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> okay, so let's talk. Let's get a crash course in healthiness for 2021. I think everyone's probably been on that road during the pandemic, um, or they're they're desperately needing to because they've gained that weight sitting at home and being you know shut down. It's been tough. It's been tough for everyone, you know. And you hear about like the COVID 15. People talk about gaining that little bit of weight, and of course, that's the least of our problems when we're talking about big health issues, but it really is an important thing and, and it's granular in that it, it it affects how you feel about yourself every morning when you get out of bed. So there are just some very simple swap outs that I always recommend. And I brought something here today I wanna to talk about. The first thing I wanna say is, I always say this, don't drink your calories, right? What a waste. <laughs> There's so many better for you options in the beverage space. And one of my favorites is something called Zevia. So this is a fabulous zero calorie, zero sugar beverage line. They have things like sodas, energy drinks, USDA certified organic teas, and even Ooh. a sparkling kids line. Yeah. And I was so excited. Wow. Kids, oh, it makes being a parent, you know, in 2021 and trying to make better choices, it makes it so much easier, right? To have something like that to offer your family. So, so much variety. You don't have to compromise on variety or on taste to make a more mindful choice. So I really love that. I also love that they're free of artificial ingredients, colors, and preservatives. And I got to say this, this product actually saved my butt when I was pregnant because I was so nauseous and I needed that ginger ale, that little bubbly and that little ginger, you know, infusion, but I didn't want to have all the sugar. And that's when I discovered Zevia. My husband actually, being the chivalrous guy that he is, went out and just knew he could find something better. And he found Zevia for me and I fell in love. So I like to wear the badge of honor that I was one of their original fans. I, I like to at least think that, but I've watched them grow over the years. And now they have the tea and the energy drink and the kids line and the mixers. And it's Ooh. such a great product. I love the energy drink before I work out or even a little afternoon boost around 4 p.m. when I'm starting to lag. So highly recommend this one. Head on over to Zevia.com and you can learn more about that and also find a store locator. It sounds really good. I'm a big, when I don't feel right in my kids, I always say ginger ale. So I'm a big fan of that. And I like that you said mindful choice. And I'm definitely going to buy that because I always like to stock ginger ale in my house. Me too. So if there's, and you can if there's a, from those retailers, so it's, it's pretty easy to find. Okay. That was my next question. Okay. Good to know. And it's, and it seems like it's a good variety. Um, and once again, that word mindful, we have to make those kind of choices now, especially now more than ever um, with all, you know, with COVID out there and, and all the health issues going on. What other tips do you have? And before I get that, my biggest, my, my for me, the hardest thing is meal planning. I'm not a good meal planner. I'll look at the clock and it'll be like three, four o'clock. I'm like, what's for dinner? Oh, shoot. You know, meal planning for me, Wendy, is really just about keeping the good choices at your fingertips and the bad ones really just out of the house. I'm really big on portion control. So I am big on, even if it's just pre-portioning, meal planning can be as simple as, you know, it doesn't have to be like you're preparing like a five course meal. For me, mm -hmm. sometimes it just, I buy the big thing of like pineapple. And if I just open it and eat it out of there, I may eat the whole thing in one sitting. Sometimes meal planning is just putting it in four little Tupperwares. That's meal planning, right? So it's oh, really okay. just about and being mindful, making choices that are going to set you up for success. Okay, that sounds good. Um, let's talk about tips for full body wellness. Yes, I'm so glad that you got to that because you know what it is? Immune boosting is like the biggest thing we're all talking about. People are less interested in just, you know, health and wellness for weight loss these days. And they're more interested yeah. in holistic health, which makes sense given what we've all just been through. So actually uh, Google Trends cited the term immune boosting as one of the most highly searched on the internet last year for obvious reasons. So one of my hot new products on my radar is something called B and U. So B, like B-E-E, -E, like a, like a B in a hive. 
But this is actually a line of products derived from bees. This is so cool. Ooh. So right here, I have the water.